Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2015, brought to you by Church Tech Arts, your source for all things live production in the church. Visit our website at churchtecharts.org. Well, hey everyone, welcome back to our Infocom 2015 coverage. We've swung by the Yamaha booth. Now, we were just here, it seems like just weeks ago. Um, not here exactly, but we're here in the Yamaha booth, you and I together looking at another console, a brand new console from Yamaha, the TF series. Yep. And again, we find ourselves standing in front of a brand new Yamaha console. This one, however, slightly larger format than the TF series. And I'm here with my friend Jake Cody, and uh, we are going to look at the new PM10 Rivage. Did I pronounce that right? You did, yes. So very cool, very nice console, has wood on the front, which I, I like a lot. Yeah. Analog feeling, and then um, yeah, lots of lots of buttons and shiny lights here. So uh, tell us about it. All right. Well, uh, yeah. So this is Revage PM10. We're really excited about it. Um, I'm going to give you the quick and easy. So 144 inputs, 112 outputs. Um, the really great things about it. Uh, the main highlight, of course, is our uh, partnership with Rupert Neve Designs. Every single input on this console has uh, basically a silk emulator in there that's going to, it's a virtual circuitry modeling effect, our VCM technology. And basically it's going to uh, add really interesting harmonic content to either the high or the low frequencies depending on which mode you're in, which is either red or blue. So again, that's available on every channel. Um, skipping real ahead real quick, because we don't have much time, is uh, the plug-in system. So we have, what? Oh, sorry, I thought you said something. Um, we have plugins. We have 384 uh, instances of plugins uh, and over 40 different plugin types available uh, on the console. So each channel has two inserts, and each insert insert can have four different plugins in series with it. Uh, so up to eight plugins total per uh, channel. Also built into each channel is uh, you have four different kinds of EQ. And what Yamaha did is we looked at a lot of uh, old vintage analog consoles, um, ones that everyone would know very well and modeled some of those EQs and created some interesting hybrids when we auditioned them with engineers. So we've got Precise, which is a really accurate, really great for fine-tuned surgery that you need to do EQ. Um, we've got Aggressive, which is going to sound very British sounding, uh, if that makes sense. Smooth is going to sound like a... Um, Maybe an, uh, a not as aggressive version of um, super analog EQ. So overshoot isn't as much. You have to do a little bit more to get it, but it's super, really silky and smooth sounding. Um, and then legacy is the traditional Yamaha Type 1 EQ that uh, we all know. Uh, the built-in dynamics, we've got uh, a gate and a comp. The default comp is a VCM compressor, the Comp 260. Um, you can imagine uh, some of the modeling that we've done there. And then a quick look into the actual plug-in system. There's just a ton to choose from. So these are a lot of the the RevX and SPX reverbs that we all know uh, from Yamaha. We've completely redone some of the, uh, the open deck uh, plugins that we've got here. And then of course, we've got all the Rupert stuff that's in there. We've got a lot of 70s era, 80s era Rupert stuff, which are very iconic. They sound incredible. We've got um, the non-Lin2 and the VSS4 HD uh, processors from TC Electronic. They're amazing. Um, so that's just some of the plug-in architecture. If we look at the hardware, you've got three independent banks here. They can be locked together. They can be paired in twos. They can also be always independent. And the great thing about the independent ones is that I can be mixing and sends on fader somebody's monitor and mixing front of house and mixing a different sends on fader or DCAs or something completely separately. The console will work independently. It's great. And uh, you can also use this external screen here if you want to use this bank completely independently. Um, the RPIO here, which is our uh, basically our stage box, you can have up to 96 inputs at a time coming into it. It also has two high capacity card slots in the back, one for twin lane, which is the backbone of the system, and another one for a Dante card, which can have 144 channels at 96K. So one input rack can have 96 mic inputs coming in, plus 144 Dante inputs, plus there's two standard traditional MY card slots for another 32 inputs, all with one rack you can have up to eight of those racks on the network. So you can have over 2,000 signals coming into the console at a time. The console, again, can do 144 inputs, but you can A, B those inputs. So you can have a lot happening at one time. Um, you've got tons of user-defined keys, user-defined knobs. Um, again, Silk is on every channel. Uh, man, there's just so much more to talk about, but I know that we're limited on time. Kind of the, 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 quick, the quick and dirty, yeah. So 
anyway, you definitely want to check it out. It's cool. It's going to be shipping by the end of the year. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Very good. And then uh, there, I'm sure it's, uh, is there any information up on the website yet if people want to learn more? Yeah, it's uh, YamahaCA.com or Twitter, Yamaha.com.audio is all up there. Yeah. Cool. And so uh, target price point, I know it's kind of nebulous at this point, but uh, all we can say right now is that it's? Uh, we're not re releasing official pricing, but um, don't be scared away. There are other manufacturers that are doing, like, the base model price that you, like, oh, if you just buy one preamp, you get it. So... All to say is the full blown system is going to cost well under two hundred grand. So that's the that's the number. And that's for a big system. Full yeah, full blown everything in it. So really good. Uh, it's got a lot of stuff here on it. Uh, you definitely want to go to the website and check it out because there is there is so much stuff here. We're, we haven't even scratched the surface of what is available on this console. So uh, the new PM10 from Yamaha. Thanks, Jake. And um, we'll take a look.